Hey, this is Tracy Lewis with Stuff and Things. We are clipping right along, getting through my set of cards made in January, February. And now I am on episode five. This is a fun, happy birthday. It is using a stamp set that I own. It is, I know it starts with the word best. So let's see. I now have all of my stamp sets and die sets along my, below my window that's right to my right. Uh, I stare out the back of our screen room, which is my craft room. So I love it because I can just open up the door and look for whatever it is that I need. It is called Best Day. And there it is. And it ends up looking a little bit on the childish side, but I think I did a pretty good job of keeping it somewhat neutral. Uh, Libby was here. This was a card that we made the next, after the weekend was over. And Libby noticed that it looked like a hat. So now, though I, I wanted this set because I, I would like to always have, if I had my way and I got to help decide the stamp sets for Stampin' Up! to have, current, I would love there to always be some sort of birthday cake. And this has a birthday cake and a very fat cat cupcake that you can do things to this to, you could cut it apart, uh, use the milk, the current milkshake set. I think that's how Libby did her card was, uh, took off the fat cat and used the cupcake bottom to make cupcakes, which is perfect. And then the colors, we picked them because we both made them using the same set of colors. I don't remember how we came up with them because this was after all of our challenges were done. I used blends to color it. They are all of the, maybe what we said because I recognize these as the current years in colors. So we must have said to use the current in colors. I used the top and bottom of a scalloped die cut and then used the punch for the congrats and had the the parakeet party glimmer version along the bottom of the congrats and then kind of mirrored it up opposite side the top and I did the same thing with the Tahitian tied uh, metallic trim that I, I stretched it out uh, which is wonderful. I love that the metallic trim is able to be kind of m moved around and used in different ways. And then I have these wonderful matte decorative dots that coordinate. And the inside has the sparklers as well as another little piece of the trim. And then I cut down, we used a simple fancy fold. We just did an offset. So it fits in the A2 envelope. And I just think it's a perfect card. Again, on the masculine side, because I have so many uh, men in the family that I always have to try to keep my cards as gender neutral as I possibly can. That's it for this one. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, you can leave them here or over on my blog. Again, I will have the full supplies list available, and this is going to retire the end of April. I'm saying that so that I remember that this is not going to be a six month catalog. It is only a four month catalog. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. And thanks for watching.